Hi, I'm Michelle, and up next is J Innovators. Today I'll introduce an agriculture technology of the next generation. This tomato is packed with nutrients. It's several times more nutritious than an ordinary tomato. Mmm. Delicious. Stay with us to find out why. Today I am at Hiratsuka Kanagawa Prefecture, a city facing the Sagami Bay. May I come in? Hello. Hello, I'm Mori. This is today's Takumi, Yuichi Mori. He developed a truly innovative way of growing plants. The Takumi uses this sheet for cultivation. It feels stiff, right? It feels dry and crunchy. And how about here? Whoa, it's really soft. Its surface has a unique jelly-like texture. What does this mean? The sheet absorbs the liquid fertilizer beneath it. The surface, however, is dry because it doesn't let liquid seep through onto the surface. But how do the plants grow if the surface is dry? When we take a closer look at the root, the plants do develop roots, but none of them penetrate the film. At a closer look, the roots, in fact, were sticking onto the film. Mori says there's an easy way to see how strongly the roots are stuck on the film. It's very light because there's no soil. Wow, the plants don't fall at all. This is amazing. I'm really surprised. The roots are holding so tightly onto the film that it doesn't fall off even when it's turned upside down. Mori's film is made of hydrogel, a material also used in disposable diapers and contact lenses. Hydrogel expands and holds in water upon absorption. By crystallizing some of the polymer in it, Modi created a special film in which the amount of water and nutrient can be controlled. The film has nanoscale pores on its surface. The plants can grow on a dry surface thanks to the thin roots that grow through these pores that uptake water and nutrients stored in the hydrogel. This clip shows a plant root growing on the film. It has a thickness of around 1 one hundredth that of a plant grown in soil or water culture. Mori also showed us a bag made of his film. It was filled with nutrient solution. This film bag has been used at an unlikely place. Outer space. Mori was asked to develop this technology in order to provide fresh vegetables to astronauts. The plants grew all over the bag in zero gravity. <laughs> Crops grown in film culture are also commercially sold. To enable mass production, Mori developed a system for crop growth without soil. Ready? That's the film right here. The only thing beneath the film is water with nutrients. Crops can be grown in various places with this system, as there is no need to prepare the soil. Moreover, bacteria and virus cannot pass through the film. This reduces the possibility of plants getting sick, providing beginners an easy way to start farming. When plants grow in this film culture environment, it maximizes their potential. Plants try to absorb as much water as possible from the film. To do so, they raise the rate of photosynthesis, creating more sugar and amino acids. This increases the concentration of nutrients in the plant. As water moves from areas of low to high concentration of nutrients, it allows plants to take in more water. Tomatoes grown with this method are said to be several times more nutritious than that of an ordinary tomato. Do you like it? 
It's amazing how plants strive to grow in an environment like this. In a harsh environment, they become really tasty. One way to stimulate the plants is film culture. The secret is the hydrogel. Currently, Modi's technology is being adopted across the world. Film farming has also been used in Japan. It helped Rikuzen Takata City rebuild after the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake. My primary goal is to help those who are facing difficulties. And I think agriculture is the only way to do so. If this method can benefit people in need of help, I hope to spread the technology and agriculture around the world and provide a way for anyone to be able to make safer, nutritious crops anywhere they want. It's astonishing that anyone can start farming anywhere using this transparent film. Mori, who invented this film, was originally a researcher that developed plastic medical supplies, such as dialysis membrane and catheters. This film farming method combines medical and agricultural technologies. It is also said to be the fourth cultivation technology following soil, water culture, and drip irrigation. I look forward to seeing this technology spread in the future. So Dr. Tashiro, any final thoughts on today's leading edge? Today, I realize the abundance of information hidden inside the world we cannot see. With the technology to see through things, experts will continue to make new discoveries that may change what we consider to be common knowledge. As they continue research utilizing these new technologies, we can expect to see a change in how we define history. There may be important historical information hidden all around us that we are not aware of. Isn't it exciting to see many more discoveries in the future? It sure is. And that's all for this week's Science View. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again next time.